Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben Texas All Water Fishing. I'm out here with Donnie. Bait Donnie Daddy. from Bait Daddies. So what's going on today, Donnie? All the interest, another beautiful Monday. Wind's kind of died down. Uh, water's a little chocolatey, but uh, nothing like getting out there and trying it anyway. Why not? You got the time, might as well get out. Get out on the water. It should clean back up, I think. I think pretty soon. So what do you have? What do you have as far as live? What do you typically carry down here? Uh, typically, it's we always have shrimp. I say we always have shrimp. We 99% of the time we always have a full tank of shrimp. Uh, we keep croakers whenever we can get our hands on them, which is pretty often. We, we regularly have croaker. Uh, haven't seen any piggy perch lately, but we do keep them when we get them. And uh, finger mullet. That's our our main lineup on live bait. Um, mud minnows also. It's been kind of hot for mud minnows. Can't really get in. You know they're not getting in the ditches and places that you usually find them. But uh, when we get them, we try to keep them stocked as much as possible. So come down, check out Donnie, check out Bait Daddies. You need some tackle, they got some tackle. Got some cold drinks back there. Clean restrooms. Yeah, come on down and see us. We'll get you all hooked up. Anything you might need or you forget while you're on the way out here, you know, we probably got you covered. So come on and see us. Thanks. looking a little a little milky a little sandy I hope that it's gonna hold up pretty pretty good um, just it's been a long time since I had a full-wheel drive it's probably been like five years so it feels nice to be able to ship this thing at four wheels the sand isn't bad last time I came out here the sand was very very bad but uh, they had some rain overnight so that kind of pushed the sand and settled the sand down a little bit um, it's gonna be a little murky I think the bite's gonna be a little tough it's gonna be a little tough I think so and uh, I'm glad I got live shrimp because uh, I think the bites will be a little tough, a little sandy. What happens is that when the sand gets, when the water gets a little sandy, a little dirty, uh, a lot of times the trout will push off, push out further, and push out a little deeper to uh, to be in the cleaner water. I'm um, hoping there is a few uh, here hanging out in the surf. We are just right after sunrise, so I'm going to jump out of the truck and make my way down here, uh, push down a little bit. I guess east on Surfside Beach and then I'll slowly work down the beach as I'll move further and further down the beach as the day goes on just to try to as the morning goes on rather don't have a they're not gonna fish a whole whole lot but uh, I hope that I don't have to fish too long hope I get on them I go straight away but thanks guys we're gonna see what we can catch Ooh, water is warm very warm That's my bait bucket so luckily my little float bucket so luckily i have this mesh net i'm gonna try to keep my uh my shrimp alive in it let me get over this first little break right here let's see Let's see, let's see this first little gut. A lot of times the bait will push in early in the morning, these first little guts. So I'm hoping that uh, the trout are still hanging around this first little gut. We'll see what's up. Water clear is not bad. Way better than, uh, than what Galveston was looking like. It was looking terrible over there. My shrimp is down. Nope, oh, nope, just a little guy. Just a little guy yanked it down. But yeah, the water clarity over here is way better than Galveston. I'm about waist deep and I could uh I could see my foot, so it's 
not like super clearing, like super prestige, but it is much cleaner than Galaxy. So I'll tell you about the setup I'm using for today. It is a NASCII 4000. Oh, we're down again, little guy. It's a TAC 40, it's medium light, or actually it's medium heavy rod. Medium fast, seven foot. There you go, I was way off. 25 pound braided line. Should be about 20 pound fluorocarbon leader line. Probably have just under a just under three foot of, of leader line and have a number size two kale hook. A little bit of a split shot just to hold the shrimp down just a little bit under the water surface. And a Buddha cork. All right, let's get it back out here. A little funky cast. See a little bit of bait right there. Looks like bait. Looks like a little bit of mullet just kind of hanging out right there. Right there. And that guy smashed it. There we go. There we go. That one feels a little better. That one feels a little better. Get my net. Reel him in. See if we can get him up here. Right back in the same spot. Hopefully that little school will stick around just a little bit for me to get a couple more. There we go. That's a keeper. And it came off. He came off in the net. So this is going to be a keeper. Pretty sure. Pretty sure he's going to keep. He's going to splash a lot. Yeah, that's a nice little keeper right here. Nice little guy. I'm going to blip him up. And then we'll measure him real fast. Send it. I'm going to send it right back where I got the last two. See if there's a school hanging out right here. You know, we're in the first cut still. All right, I haven't moved off. I haven't gone to the second cut. A lot of times as the day goes on and the day gets warmer, they'll move to the second cut. And all it is is a series of sandbars on these beach. There it's down again. Ah, oh, little guy. All it is is a series of sandbar on the beach and you just fish in between the sandbars. Oh, we're down, we're down. There we go, that's a good one. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. That's gonna be a good one. I'm not gonna force him, right? So he's he's already on. The only thing we don't want to do is that we don't want our line to get slack. So this is a, a nice trout. He's head shaking, feels like a nice big surf trout. Reeling him in. When he sees me, he's gonna get a little more burst of energy. I'm gonna let him run. I'm gonna let him run. I'm not going to really try to force him too much. I want him to get a little tired because now he's gonna see me and now he's not going to want to cooperate oh there he goes a little bit there he goes a little bit more i'm gonna you don't want to really force the issue too too much you want to get him in as fast as you can because he has very thin mouths and that hook could pull anytime but you don't want to really super force the issue all right it's a fine line right here when you're netting fish is when you miss them the most of the time is when you're when you're missed a bite missed the miss the catch lose the fish the most time is when you're netting them Sorry, I'm trying to think and talk at the same time. There we go. That's another nice big surf trout. Oh my gosh. This is a nice guy. This is a nice guy. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so we wake up at two in the morning for fit players. Fellas, players. Sorry, I meant fellas. Uh, and people at the same time came out players. There he goes. Nice, nice big one. Nice big one. You know, the waves aren't, uh, as bad as they were last time so i should be able to handle them here right here look at this guy nice big healthy one look at that nice big guy Woo, that's a big one nice big shrimp healthy shrimp right now they're catching a golf you know when bait daddy's donnie's man they, donnie does it good bait daddy does it really good keeping uh keeping their bait very healthy bait for you that's why i love going back to them i'll go back to them again and again and again because you just can't beat good quality bait. You can't. And as much as bait costs, as much as it costs, you need, it, you know, to keep it alive. I don't have an oxygen tank and, you know, I just have a couple of aerators. So I don't have a lot of bells and whistles. So as <laughs> soon as you put the bait in my bait bucket, they're going to start dying. Right now I do have a bait butler. So that mesh net helps tremendously 
when it comes to keeping the fish alive just for the simple fact that it gives them a place to rest because you know they could just hang on to that mesh net oh we're down again let's see i think it's a small guy i popped it right when right when they hit it yeah small guy so uh, i need good bait right i need good bait i want it to stay alive as long as i can i want to get a bang for my buck i'm always looking to get a bang for my dollar no matter what whether i'm buying fishing gear or something for my house or electronics i'm always looking for a bang for a dollar and bait is no different for me and that's why i joined timu so i am affiliated to timu so if you want a, to check out timu there's a link for timu you can use a code and i'll get a little something but be ready to shop because if you if you buy some stuff within like your first hour of downloading that app, app then you can save some money so all that information is below in my description section there's a link down there timu i'm affiliated they they have a lot of cool stuff they have a lot of cool gadgets they have a lot of cool stuff for your house a lot of fishing stuff um is the stuff five star rated probably not but again are you getting a bang for your buck absolutely are you gonna get your money's worth i'm on probably like not probably everything that i bought on that site and my wife has bought and my son has bought we definitely get our money's worth we definitely definitely get our money there we go another good one. Oh yeah that's a good one Woo. Come on. Oh God. This one might be 20 plus. That big old splash on top. Ah, come on. Oh, there he goes. He's running. Oh my gosh. You hear that? Oh, that's a big trout too. Did you hear him running? Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to have to pull him up against the waves. It's, a, it, it's in a, it might cause his, uh, his mouth to get a little open, more, more open to cause him to, uh, to lose him you fighting him and the wave i have to try to uh to chase him down over here in this in the shallow water yeah, he's a big one though he's a big one oh 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 don't 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 oh, i can't get him dang it oh my gosh oh my gosh i had to i'm gonna take this one to the truck i'm gonna take this one to the truck because this is a big one. Oh my gosh i had to chase him i mean like i'm in like shin deep water oh dang it what a punk he tried hard to get off oh my goodness he's a big he's a big one yeah he's a big one he definitely is very big oh, goodness lift him up just to easier to oh he wasn't coming off either i was really worried about him coming off when he got in those waves because then you start fighting him into the waves golly that make me work for it it'll work for this guy Let's see. Woo! First fish on the tailgate. Oh, 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 come on. First fish on the tailgate. Twenty-four. He is twenty-four inches. Nice big guy. Woo, twenty-four incher. Got him. Got him. There he goes. Small guy again. This is gonna nip and nip and nip. They can take it all now. Now I don't even want that shrimp on anymore. They can have it. Oh, somebody bigger came and got it. Somebody bigger came and got it. That's what I'm talking about. A big trout came and got it. I told you. I told you. Don't investigate who's feeding, who's feeding on what. And it'll, it'll take off. He'll hit it. There's another big one. It's another 20 plus incher. Another 20 incher right here. Oh, 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 look at that guy. Ooh, yeah. Come on, buddy. I just want to take a picture of you. <laughs> we could be friends. He's holding down good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's a shark. Dang it, it's a shark. He head shaked a couple times. That's what made me think it was a trout. But it's a little shark. We're gonna get him. 
Dang it, I thought you were a big trout. Man, you got me so excited, bro. You got me so excited, little shark. We'll get you, we'll get you off. We'll get you off. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Let's see what you are. He's a spinner. He has a little bit of black tip right by his, no, he's a black tip. He doesn't have, he doesn't have a, uh, a black tip on that, uh, on his anal fin. That's how you can tell the difference. Nice little fat shark though. Little fat guy. I'm gonna set him down. I got my hands all in his gills. I don't wanna, I really don't wanna hurt him. Little fat boy, huh? Yeah, I didn't want to, uh, I don't wanna hurt him. There he goes. Fun little species, they're fun to catch. They're pretty. I like them. Sharks are my friends. I don't want them to uh, get too close to me. Respect them. Love them, you know. All God's creatures, you know. Fat guy though, look at him. He got a nice little belly on him. I'm gonna let him go. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Don't run into my feet. Don't run into my feet. Go the other way. Stupid, go the other way. You're gonna beat yourself. Go the other way. Come on, don't beat yourself. Go the other way. Go the other way. Go that way. Go that way, goofball. I don't know why they do that. Sometimes they do. They'll run to the. They'll beat themselves. They'll run into the uh, more shallow area. So, all right, guys, try this again. That was that was really fun you can see right here look all these trout right that's a 24 incher that one's like probably like 21 23 that was probably like 22 23 that was 15 and a half i mean it's awesome awesome day you know what's awesome to come out love starting my morning at the beach i mean just listen to it listen to the ocean it's just gorgeous out here can't ask for a better place to fish Fishing for surf trout is fun. It's it's fairly easy, you know. It's not it's not a not a whole lot to it. You can get some live shrimp. Put these big boat bad boys back on ice, and he's stopping to get some more ice. But it's a lot of fun. It's a great time, man. Great time. Check out check out bait daddies on the west end of Galveston down there. You know if you're coming from the gap, look at the fat this guy is. Oh my gosh, this guy's huge fat boy fat boy fat boy fat girl whatever but it's a big fish but yeah check out bait daddies oh get it out there i need to go get some ice bait daddies on the west end galveston great bait they have great bait great bait can't say enough nice things donnie's super nice great family check out max traps check out timu you know you want to pick pick some inexpensive stuff up whether it's fishing related or not check out timu Download that app. Get ready to uh, rinse my hands off. Get ready to uh, spend money as soon as you get on that app. Save some, uh, save some money. And uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Join Patreon. Go home. I'm gonna toss up a fish report to all my patrons and let them know. Hey, if you're free tomorrow, come out because by the time you guys get this, sometimes it could be anywhere from five to ten days later. I mean, it really can because. Uh, sometimes my videos get a little backed up. Sometimes I get a little busy and uh, sometimes I get opportunity to go fish. 
So whenever I should be editing, um, I'm fishing, and it's just a non-stop chase, chase, chase to uh, fish and edit, fish and edit. So you want a up-to-date fish report, join Patreon, uh, help further support the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out tremendously. And hopefully next time you catch me. Look at that.